Dear friends, this is Prithviraj from Bangalore connecting with you once again with a short message on mercy of God. Why are we not living a life contrary to the will of God? Have we not living a life gratifying the lust of the flesh, following the prince of this world? Why are we not by nature alienated from God, found guilty and condemned? How is it possible for us to enjoy a joy and peaceful life today in Christ? when we really deserve condemnation for our past thoughts words and deeds it is possible because our god is merciful ephesians 2:4 says god who is rich in mercy god being merciful would mean god withholding the punishment when we deserve it mercy of god would mean god's love that causes him to help the miserable It is wrong to say that God is more merciful in New Testament times than in Old Testament times. In fact, Old Testament proclaims the mercy of God four times more than that of the New Testament. God has been merciful since beginning. In Old Testament we read that every year high priest entered most holy place and sprinkled the blood of the sacrifice before the mercy seat on the day of atonement. seeking the mercy of god in old testament mercy seat concealed his people from ever condemning judgment of law and in old new testament jesus christ became our propitiation jesus christ received our condemnation and we received god's mercy instead of punishing us for our sins god allowed his son to take the condemnation in our place He saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of His mercy. God is merciful and righteous at the same time. In the book, The Knowledge of the Holy, author writes, As judgment is God's justice confronting moral iniquity, so mercy is the goodness of God confronting human suffering and guilt. God has always dealt in mercy with mankind and will always deal in justice when his mercy is despised. To receive the mercy of God, we need to turn away from sin and wrong doings and seek his mercy. Bible says, "Who ever conceals their sins does not prosper, but the one who confesses and renounces them finds mercy." We are told to be merciful because our God is merciful. To be merciful would mean sympathizing with those in need, forgiving all who did wrong to us, helping those in distresses and need. Blessed are the merciful for they will receive mercy. Since God is merciful and forgave us from the sins We are also expected to be merciful and to extend forgiveness to others. Merciful person is sensitive to the needs of the others and would make possible efforts to address those needs. It would be good to make a decision to do some acts of mercy every day in our life. May God enable us to be merciful as he is merciful. Thank you for listening. God bless you.